Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you my sunglass collection. Every single time I post a picture wearing sunglasses, I get a ton of questions on what style I'm wearing, and for the most part, I stick to what works for my face. Obviously, I like to buy sunglasses that flatter me. So the ones that I have, I've had for a minute. I'm very particular, but also very like simple and basic when it comes to what I like. I don't really venture off and get anything too out of the norm, or too funky like I do like edgy things but I don't do a lot of color you guys already know I'm very simple and neutral and that's just how I like it but I wanted to have this video to just like reference back to specifically on these which are the black key fade sunglasses and if they're the large or if they're the mini so I ended up getting the minis just so that I can kind of like show you guys the difference and just so that I can see the difference and which one flatters me better I have a pretty small collection now to some of you you might be like okay Rose you have more than one pair of sunglasses that's more than enough but I know people who have like 20 30 40 pairs of sunglasses I just like buying what I know I'm going to use and wear I've gotten rid of so many sunglasses throughout the years I've sold a bunch I've donated like the more colorful ones or the funky ones or ones that just didn't suit my face bigger frame sunglasses flatter me so I've gotten rid of a ton of like Ray-Bans because they just were too small on me so I keep them all in this case which I get a ton of questions on I actually got this on Amazon years ago and if fits perfectly in my Alex drawer and even though I don't use this feature it's cool that it has it it actually closes to keep your sunglasses free of dust and dirt and like scratching but I actually just fold it underneath and keep my sunglasses visible just because I'm keeping them in a drawer so I don't really have to worry too much about dust. Pretty much all of these you can just throw on with anything whether you are dressed down or dressed up. I like to wear sunglasses mainly when I'm dressed down or like if I'm not wearing makeup but I also don't like it when sunglasses leave like marks on my makeup which is kind of inevitable. There's only like a few pairs of sunglasses I feel like out there that won't do that but for the most part I wear sunglasses without makeup and when I'm just like out the door and I just kind of want to hide my eyes from the world and I don't want to make eye contact and it's just because I'm usually like tired or my eyes are puffy or I just don't feel like talking that day. I know I'm not the only one. I know a ton of people like to hide from the world, especially if it's really early and you just woke up, you just throw on some sunglasses and you're good to go. It's kind of like wearing a hat. You're just like incognito in a way and they're an accessory. They add a little spice to your look. I just feel like when you throw on sunglasses, you're instantly more put together. I kind of arrange them by like favorites. So up at the front, I have my most favorite pair of sunnies and these are by Celine. And these got popular years ago. I'm pretty sure Kim Kardashian made them like pop in and famous. When I first saw these, I fell in love with the shape, but also the fact that it had like the tortoise on them. All of the official names and style numbers and all of that is gonna be down below. But I'm pretty sure these are called the shadows. I'm just so in love with these till this day I cannot get enough of them I don't care how played out they are these are just so flattering I like to wear these when I have on like a little bit of a nicer outfit so not like super sporty but not super dressed up so like if I'm wearing a bodysuit with jeans these just give me like baddie vibes and I'm here for those vibes so let's put them on these may not be for everyone but I personally love them. I love the fade on the lens. I love the super straight square top and the round bottom. I love the tortoise. These don't have the little nose pads so they just rest on your nose and I really love that because most of those little nose pads either like pinch my nose or really create indents in makeup or they'll give me like a headache or they'll just like make my nose a little bit sore. So these are just really comfortable. They just sit really nicely. You can wear them a little lower and if you want to show a little more brow. My pair is a little bit scratched up so I've been wanting to get a new pair, but I just can't seem to let these go. I'm obsessed with them. I'll never get over them. They're my favorite for a reason, so love those. So every time I go for a pair of sunglasses, it's usually the Celine's that I just showed you, or these. These are the key, it's not Quay. These are the key high key fades, and originally these were Desi Perkins sunglasses. I'm pretty sure she gave up her like title, her collaboration with Key. She designed them, she killed it. So these are the high key with the black fade. Mine are really, really scratched up because these have been everywhere with me. Puerto Rico, Dominican Republic, beaches, pools, seats. I've sat on them, they've hit the floor. They've seen it all. I love these because they're so easy to throw on and they hide most of your eyes. So when I wear these out, you can't really tell if I'm looking at you or if I'm looking down or what. Like I could literally be rolling my eyes and you wouldn't know. <laughs> I'm very expressive and my 
stare has been said to be very intense. So I like wearing these because then people don't think I'm staring at them. I just have like a natural gaze. And so this kind of saves me when I'm out in public because I'm not just like gazing into people's eyes or like daydreaming or just like looking around or I could look around without people knowing. They almost have like a little bit of like a purple tint, but I really, really love the fade. I think these are so cool and I throw them on with anything. These are like my no makeup glasses. These are, I'm running out the door glasses. These are, I'm wearing leggings and I don't really care what I look like. They're definitely not as expensive as the Celine glasses. So these are awesome too for like the beach or for the pool or for just like running errands because let's say I do scratch them. It's not gonna like break the bank to purchase them again. Whereas the Celine's, those are a little more pricey. So I just love these so much and I can't get enough. So these are the original high key faded glasses. So I went ahead and got the minis just because I wanted to see the difference and I can show you guys the difference, how they look on. The regular original size, they're pretty light on me. I mean, yes, they're oversized in a way, but for my face, I feel like they don't look that oversized. They're pretty flattering on me, but I know some people find these like ridiculously long. Large, the originals these definitely leave an indent though on my nose like if I'm wearing makeup or even if I'm not wearing makeup I'll still get a little bit of a mark it goes away eventually but let's go ahead and try on the minis the main difference on these is that you can see more of my brow bone which I actually really like I don't like it when my glasses cover my whole brow or my brow bone because then I just feel a little weird like Mona Lisa vibes I like for my brows to show especially because my brows are pretty high and arched so if a sunglass is covering them they're just like way too high up for my face shape. So these are the high key mini black fades. The next three pairs of sunglasses are actually all aviator style as well. So these are Celine aviators and I remember buying these because I wanted to have a designer aviator because the other aviators that I have are all from Key. I wanted to just have like a designer, really high quality pair of aviators. So again, these are from Celine. So these definitely give me like FBI vibes or like I'm about to go get on a motorcycle vibe. But I love that. These with like a jean jacket. Like it's just like a cool edgy sunglass. I just love, love me a good aviator. These are like a cool gold. The ones that I'm going to show you next are like a gold gold. Where these are kind of more of like a chill, more relaxed, effortless gold, which I like. I like that the lens is dark, but that it's not pitch black. Like you can still see a little bit of my lash, but you could also see yourself so when people are looking into these glasses they're really getting like a reflection of themselves because they're a little bit mirrored but not all the way mirrored they still have a little bit of transparency which I love so these are again by Celine so these are the gold high keys and they don't have the fade they're just like a mirrored aviator these are the same size as like my most used high keys but because they're that mirrored gold and they don't have like that little fade I feel like they look bigger like these look like they protrude more so these are the high keys and gold and I like these but they don't get as much love as the other three clearly I love Desi so these are the high key Desi sunglasses I'm pretty sure these are the Sahara gold smoke sunglasses but I wanted to get the black and olive version of these but I ended up going with these these are the gold smoke so I prefer a sunglass that has a little bit of my skin peeking through at the bottom I just think it's more flattering as opposed to just like a whole mirrored lens I just love that little fade I think it gives it a little bit of an edge these are definitely more wearable than the gold ones for me I feel like I can just throw these on a lot easier with more outfits and I just get like a very like relaxed chill vibe with these that greenish brown golden tint gives it like a very Cali vibe to me and I feel like I'm also going to like a desert I'm going to Dubai with these so again these are the high key in the smoke color these next ones you guys loved so these are from Tom Ford and the style is Kristen and they're these sunglasses that I was wearing in my last post on Instagram and I remember featuring these like years ago and also getting a ton of comments on them I think there was like a famous picture circulating of Kylie Jenner wearing these and they're just such a classic black sunglass these are like my most classic sunglasses I feel like in my collection they're just very timeless very classic classy these are perfect for shopping for or brunch I wear these in the daytime even though they're pretty black and I love that you still get that little fade at the bottom because it just makes them a little bit more wearable and not so like blackout although I do want to get like a pair of sunglasses that are like extremely 
blacked out with the lens. I think Dior and Tom Ford have like the darkest lenses, but these aren't extremely pitch black. Like you still see a little bit of transparency at the bottom. And these give you like brunch vibes or shopping vibes. These scream girl boss to me. I love how these sit on my nose because you can still again see my brows. You can still see a little bit of the skin underneath. You can wear them a little lower if you want. Okay, like this. These are giving me like come correct boo or don't come at all. Also giving me my standards aren't too high, your standards are just too low. Pack it up, clean it up. These really just do something for me. I love these, you love these. They're a little bit harder to find, but I'm going to make sure I find a link for you guys. I actually wanted to purchase like a dupe for the Dior sunglasses, the really big ones, just because for me personally, I don't see myself wearing those too often. They're kind of more of like a trendy piece. So I don't really like to splurge on trendy pieces. I think you should splurge on items that you know you're gonna get a lot of use out of you know you're gonna get your money's worth out of I was going to purchase a few sunglasses on Amazon and Aliexpress I just personally have never bought like a fake pair of sunglasses or like a dupe per se but when it comes to sunglasses I know a ton of people do just because they're either gonna get scratched broken lost or just not used enough so a lot of people don't like to invest in sunglasses and I totally get it because they're that one item that you just constantly lose someone steals them you break them you sit on them like there's so many things that can happen if you put them face down they could get scratched easily they're just like an item that are very fragile but also that you tend to lose a lot so if you guys want to do video let me know in the comments so my last pair of sunglasses are my least used these sunglasses break my heart because I remember purchasing these I tried someone else's on and then I went ahead and just bought them because I like them I've actually contemplated selling these just because I don't get a lot of use out of them. They're by Valentino. These are like my edgiest sunglasses, if you will. These look really cute with makeup on, with a nice blouse, but I can't just like throw these on. They're kind of like a hybrid of an aviator and like a cat eye. I love the bridge on these because it's very unique and like the metal frame. They're definitely like a cool sunglass. I love that they're clear. I love the bridge, how it's like exposed and metal. They're just like an edgy pair of sunglasses, but still chic. I feel like these are very flattering because they define your face. They kind of give your face a little bit more of like an angular look, which I like. And they're very polished, but still edgy and cool and like chic. Like I didn't try too hard. Let me know what you guys think of these. I don't think I've ever taken a picture in them. I've probably only worn these out like twice. They're clear so they go with everything. They do have a little bit of a silver accent. So these are really nice if you're wearing silver jewelry. But honestly, you can wear these with anything. I just don't know why I don't pick them up. I think I'm just so used to black and gold when it comes to my accessories that these are a little bit more out of my comfort zone. Let me know what you guys think of these. I feel like you guys know me better than myself. So if you have any sunglasses you would like to recommend for me, whether it's a brand or a style, put me on, sis, because I love to be put on. Just like I like to put people on, I like to get put on. So give me the tea. So that concludes this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I will see you in my next one. Bye, guys.